say ah. I had the privilege of participating in a 21-day miracles experiment. It was cooked up by a remarkable healer and shaman, Lori Lothian. About 130 Facebookers engaged in Lori's fascinating exercises, and I had some breakthroughs myself. Although ostensibly the group was about creating miracles, there was something much more basic I was getting out of the experience. One of the exercises was to pair off with another member of the group and send messages to them as, like, notes from the universe. One or two sentences of information received about the person for the person. At one point, I received a message for my partner, There is love all around you, even in the kitchen. She wrote back that the day before, she and her sister had a wonderful party in her kitchen, a celebration of love and thanksgiving. The point of the exercise was to demonstrate the connection we all have to each other and the universe itself. We are one mind, one creator, creating life experiences from our own unique viewpoints, perspectives, and beingness. A byproduct of consciously connecting with another person or group is the sense of meaningful awe that comes from communicating messages from a space of love and service. This sense of awe is really an awareness of the miraculous and has been scientifically shown to massively affect the brain in a myriad of beneficial ways. This was extensively studied in the experiences of astronauts as they gazed in wonder at the Earth from space. Blood pressure went down, heart rate lowered, and there was an engulfing sense of well-being, signifying high endorphin levels. Further research has shown that a sense of wonder is hardwired into the brain. It is stimulated when subjects would experience or even think about something larger and more expansive than what they would normally perceive. What I'm coming around to is that there is a particular sensation of the miraculous we all have access to, and it can move us into feeling a sense of transcendence over mundane normalcy. Our routines and repetitious experiences form a sort of sensory numbing where our expectations of experiencing the same or similar activities blanks out subtle changes and trends much like retinal fatigue or rubbing an earlobe to make it numb. By consciously and willfully stepping back and considering the extreme coincidences, the mathematical improbabilities of our present circumstances, the infinitely intricate relationships of our environmental ecology, and the astounding statistical implausibility of life arising from the raw cosmos, and the cosmically miraculous becomes obvious. As infinite creative beings, we, out of the illusion of cultural necessity, step down our perceptions and execution of our own power. We tend to huddle up and cozy down into a tiny, predictable world made up of little boxes of experience and categorized sets of expectations. Much of this has been perpetrated through modern culture by sociopathic controllers but they can only limit our power via our own naive permissions. Some would say we are afraid of our power. I don't believe this goes deep enough. Let us consider that it is not fear of our power, it is awe. In fact, we can transcend our fears by being in awe of our own power. This awe acknowledges and opens up vast vistas of possibilities we, as infinite creators, have built into our being. And our deep sense of the miraculous is proof that we are infinitely greater than our judgments and conclusions would have us be. So, take a nice long look at the miraculous in your life, then feel the deep, awesome gratitude of the miracle that is you. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy RX, www.pureenergyrx.com.